basketball was not very big at the University of North Carolina when we came down. Frank McGuire was a movie star. I just idolized him. I mean, just he was good looking, knew what he was doing, and he had championship caliber basketball teams. McGuire felt that he could recruit from New York. So this is where he got the ball players from. Frank McGuire's roots ran deeper in New York than anyone else. When he was at North Carolina with this national championship team, five New Yorkers. Bobby Cunningham from Paul Hallows, Joe Quake from St. Francis Prep, Pete Brennan from St. Augustine's, Tommy Kearns from St. Anne's Academy, and Lenny Rosenblum from James Monroe in the Bronx. And he was really the star of the team. But uh, it, it was the New York connection and these people who felt a great sense of loyalty to Frank McGuire would help him. We were playing New York style basketball and we had aggressive kids. How do you get aggressive? You play in the park, either you're aggressive or you're not playing basketball. So I think that mentality uh, really helps you. Well, because we played for Frank McGuire, we didn't have individual styles. We had a Frank McGuire style. We scored almost 80 points a game our senior year. And this is about a three-point shot. So we could run, we could slow it down, and uh, coach didn't tell us basically what to do. We did it ourselves. He said, I said, don't worry about it, coach. We're gonna win them all. I just refused to let them down. And all the guys felt the same way. All right, it's taken out by Parker. Parker throws a long one into the left side. They beat it into Silt, and it's tapped away from Silt. That we win! 54 to 53, North Carolina did it! They win the national championship, beating Wilt in double overtime in Kansas City. One point changed our lives. We are the ones that started basketball, being very popular in the state of North Carolina. And this is 60 years later, and they still talk about our 1957 undefeated season.